ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੋ ਤੇ ਉਡਾਓ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਇਨ ਲੰਡਨਸ ਲਿਟਲ ਇੰਡੀਆ there is cultural issues there is religious issues there is international politics and it's poor this west london suburb is home to one of the largest punjabi communities outside of india there's a mistrust perhaps of authority and the state dar lagda rehnda bas police da chakkar immigration da chakkar na pai jave bahut okhi hai the illegal life at various points during the pandemic southall had some of the highest covid rates in the uk and government distrust is making it worse The rumors are that if you take the vaccine what's going to end up happening is this is a big government conspiracy to get rid of all the illegal immigrants someone did did some black magic power also some negative power inside your body i try my best to avoiding and depending on any hospital treatment as london battles to contain the coronavirus authorities are at a loss at how best to protect this immigrant community that's incubating the virus and evading detection in a bura hala south of the village so covid specifically areas like south hall a lot of people are very much on the breadline you've got multiple families living within very small dwellings just because that's all they can afford a lot of rental accommodation that maybe isn't up to the standard that it should be a lot of people that have that have come here you don't speak english very well so they need to be around a community that they can communicate with typically these guys are on zero hour contracts maybe working in construction there's no furlough scheme that applies to them so a lot of people are here illegally and they're still humans and they still need food and shelter and because they're not legal residents in this country they're definitely falling within the cracks ethe aaya te ethe hun ja corona ho gaya ta kamm kum hai nahi saga ਇੰਡੀਆ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਮਰਦੇ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਕੋਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਰਟੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਭੁੱਖੇ ਮਰ ਜਾਣੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦੇ ਭਾਣੇ ਚ ਰਹੀਏ ਤੇ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਮਰੋ ਨਾ ਗਿਆ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਹੀ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਦੇ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਹੀ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਢਹਿੰਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰੀਲੀ ਡਿਸਟਿੰਕ ਕੋਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਸਕੈਪਟਿਸਿਜ਼ਮ ਆਫ ਐਨੀ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਥੈਟ ਦ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਪੁਟਸ ਆਊਟ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਦ ਦ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਕਸੀਨਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਸਕੈਪਟਿਸਿਜ਼ਮ from people just because they fear what the government's agenda may be government distrust is deep rooted here punjabis began arriving to work in southall's factories in the 1950s in response to britain's post war recruitment drive in this country in 15 or 20 years time the black man will have the whip hand over the white man but as the immigrant population grew so did racist attacks and discriminatory policies which provoked riots in the streets of Southall in the 70s and 80s. Southall's got some of the lowest job prices in the United Kingdom primarily because we're so close to Heathrow. Don't even know what to sell it to. Aha. Uh-huh. Here you come. So police were called to an address last night by a member of the public and as a result of that officers have found a cannabis grow house and this is the crop from that as you can smell it's really strong cannabis grow houses continue that hasn't changed as a result of the pandemic so when the pandemic first hit we were catching more of our drug dealers with drugs on them we're not necessarily just cannabis but also class a so they were coming out of the house loaded with more product to sell more quickly southall at one point for about a week had some of the highest covid infection rates in the country so locally we had to do something where we knew this was a massive driver for that there is a rough sleeping problem on this estate right let's go and have a look aha uh-huh. hello you yeah you're right yeah all right just keep your hands away from there he's got a crack pipe down there you are going to research under the misuse of drugs act you want to stand up for me brown rizla the white rizla white or brown white crack cocaine brown heroin these glass pipes metal foil off the brillo pad put in the end put your glass on that smoke it you buy those glass pipes for a pound or 50p in the industrial estate we've just driven through that's somebody who's using glass a drugs so just from an officer safety point of view i don't want to get stabbed just with the screw like that because that's still going to hurt and it's still going to cause a puncture into you so we asked him if he had any shops on him he said no but that's in his bedding 
if that was drawn across your face or shoved into your eye, that is going to cause a police officer a real serious injury, isn't it? So all the cigarette lighters, I don't smoke. I know some people who do. They only normally carry one lighter. He's got lots of lighters because smoking drugs uses a lot of gas and they get really hot and they burn and they break. Because of the pandemic, he shouldn't be here anyway. But we, the police, have got no powers to pick him up and put him into accommodation. That is not our job. So he hasn't got Class A drugs on him. The outcome is he's going to stay where he is. He's not under arrest. I've worked here for 10 years, just in Southall. It's very deprived. There's cultural issues, there's religious issues, there's international politics, there's language issues, and there's a big migrant community. It's well documented, unfortunately, with sheds in beds. So that's immigrants being exploited by, let's call them rogue landlords. That is a massive problem still in Southall. Since 2013, Ealing Council has investigated over 2,000 illegal dwellings, which they estimate to have at least doubled the area's population. As compared with Sanu, maybe around a year ago, I was there. One car, two bedroom, two bedrooms, two families were living there. The rest were three people single, single living there. Sadly, but one Monday, no one knew that was there. They were living there. ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਜਣੇ ਨੂੰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਪੰਜ 6 ਜਣੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੋਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਹੋਣ ਵੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੁਝ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੋਲੇ ਕੁਝ ਮਤਲਬ ਵੀ ਡੇਟ ਆਫ ਬਰਥ ਨਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਨਾ ਕਈ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਟੂਰਿਸਟ ਆਏ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫਿੰਗਰ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਫਿਰ ਡਰਦੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਵੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੋ ਜਣੇ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਘਰ ਚ ਬਾਕੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਕੋਲੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੀਗਲ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਘਰ ਲੈਂਡਲੋਰਡ ਨੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਰੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਵਾ ਉਹਨੇ ਗਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਵਾ ਪਰ ਜਾਣ ਪਹਿਚਾਨ ਦਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਤਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੰਨ ਲਓ ਲੈਂਡਲੋਰਡ ਉਹਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਰੈਂਟ ਵਾਲੇ ਕੋ ਕਾਰਜ ਡਾਲੂਗਾ ਫਿਰ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮੂਵ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੀ ਪਣਾ ਹਨਾ illegal immigrants have overcome harrowing journeys to reach the UK but when they arrive the reality is very different to what they expected ਪਰ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ 2010 ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਏਜੰਟ ਦਾ ਪਤਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਨੇ ਕਰੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਗਰੀਬ ਹੋਣ ਕਰਕੇ ਵੀ ਪਤਾ ਵੀ ਇੰਗਲੈਂਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਵਧੀਆ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਫੇਕ ਪੈਸੇ ਦਿਖਾ ਕੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਲਵਾਤਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰ ਲਈ ਉਹਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ 12 ਲੱਖ ਰੁਪਿਆ ਯੂਰਪ ਦਾ ਲੈ ਲਿਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੀ ਕੁਝ ਮੁੰਡੇ 8 ਜਣੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਲੇਨ ਰਾਈ ਰਸ਼ੀ ਆ ਗਏ ਉੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚਣ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟ ਲੈ ਲਿਆ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਭੱਜ ਬਣਾ ਸਕੇ ਨਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਤੰਗੀ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਮਣਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਿਆ ਜੀ ਕਰੋਨਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲਾਂ ਆ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਰੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਦੇਣਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹਰੇਕ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਪੈਸੇ ਭੇਜਣੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਕੋਲ ਐਨਐਚਐਸ ਨੰਬਰ ਮੰਗਦੇ ਹੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਨਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਇਲਾਜ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਡਰ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਕਿਤੇ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਨਾ ਲੈ ਲਵੇ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਲੀਗਲ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਜੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਫੇਕ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਦਾਂ ਉਹ ਥੋੜੀ ਬਹੁਤੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਚ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੀ ਝੋਲਾ ਚੱਕ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਹੀ ਪੈਸੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੀ ਮਜਬੂਰੀ ਕਰਨ ਇਲਾਜ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਹੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਇਨਕਾਊਂਟਰਡ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਵੈਕਸੀਨ ਹੈਜ਼ੀਟੈਂਸੀ ਇਨ ਮਾਈ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਵਰੀਜ਼ ਮੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਹੂ ਆਈ ਆਮ ਮੋਸਟ ਕੰਸਰਨਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਲ ਡੂ ਬੈਡਲੀ ਵਿਦ ਕੋਵਿਡ of the same group who just don't want to engage in conversations about the vaccine. You know, the hospitals were always full of people dying, but it wasn't like this before. It wasn't young people who were fit and well who we didn't have anything to offer. There's a mistrust perhaps of authority and and the state. There is a feeling that people are trying to get your details and you might they they'll say it's medical help but then suddenly everyone in your family will receive a knock on the door i think there's a fear that the healthcare service is in cahoots with the immigration services it's a population that's
Is what you want to know, brother? I, I've been having a lot of anxiety and things, and I was thinking, could I get a reading or something to help me with my problems? Tell me your right hand. Are you doing reading? Yes, sir. I will tell you everything. Sometimes you'll get bad, bad, uh, I mean, feeling, negative feeling. Hmm. When you're sleeping, you can't sleep very happily. Yeah. Someone did it. Some black magic power, also some negative power inside your body. Okay. okay. Someone they did some negative prayer. Hmm. They are not good people. Hmm. Who they did? They jealousy, the enemy. Hmm. We have to remove this brother. Hmm. Hmm. How do you remove it? We have to do some bad removal prayers. Hmm. Whatever I need your photo, keep it in my prayer place. Hmm. I'll send it inside your body some positive energy. Hmm. Whatever you feel inside your body, the negative, I'll remove outside. Mm -hmm. Out, I'll remove out. After, you're gonna feel all positive. Mm -hmm. If you're okay, I'll do it, but it's gonna take some cost to do this. Well, okay, what's the cost? 500 pounds. Oh, so what does the 500 pound cover? I will buy the things. You're gonna buy things? Yes. What mm -hmm. things are you buying? I'll buy 201 lemon. Okay. 201 mm -hmm. lemon, and flower. Flowers, you understand? Okay. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. things, black magic, the remote things. When pressed on COVID and the vaccinations, they had this to say. But you take the vaccine if you want to take vaccination. Mm. Uh, but not now. When I'll clear this all, I'll tell you the time. The time you take that is good for you. Mm. Oh, okay. You can tell him when to take the vaccine yes. after you clear so, everything. Yes, yes. Okay. Which, which month you take the vaccine, I'll let you know. If you're not clear this, I'm telling to you, it is very dangerous. You think about it outside. I'll take five minutes, ten minutes. Mm. Think and let me know. Okay. Okay, thank you, Panditji. Thank you. Don't get me wrong, there are some people within the Hindu religion, that uh, some pundits that do do good stuff, but there's more bad than there are good, and they just want the money, and they will tell you what you want to hear, and boom. If I ever saw them, they'd be sorry, I promise you. Um, you know, a lot of these, they happen behind closed doors. There's a lot of undercover ones that are going on. My name is Jasper Sandu, street name Injection. I am a ex-criminal, ex-gangster, rehabilitated. I was involved in every single thing that you could possibly think of. I'm talking murders, drugs, kidnappings, blackmail, firearms, um, money laundering, you name it. I've spent a good 20 years of my life kidnapping people and hurting people, torturing people. You know what I mean? You know, like cutting fingers off and cutting people's ears off and shit. And like, you've got to make enemies across the, uh, across the way. You're not going to have people that are going to be saying, oh, he's a really nice guy. You know, he cut my ear off last time, you know? During the pandemic, Injection has seen crime patterns changing radically to adapt to a new normal. A lot of these drug addicts, how they used to make their money is they used to walk in and out of these shops that were open on the Broadway. They'll steal something and then they will sell it, literally the next shop down. What's happened is everything's closed. There's nothing for them to steal. So now we've all started breaking into houses. So they will sneak into your house while you're in bed, sleeping. 70, 80 houses that have been broken into while they're sleeping. They've woken up in the morning and everything's lying all over the place. The other thing is catalytic converters. You could go mark your car up, you could go in the shop. Before you've picked your item up and paid for it and come out, your, your catalytic converter's gone. Injection knows from first-hand experience that during desperate times, people will do desperate things. There's so many theories out there that one person will send it and it will spread like wildfire. They said, I think it was malaria tablets. If you took these tablets, your corona is gone. So every single shop here that was selling malaria tablets was out. I remember coming to this chemist here and I queued up here for about an hour and a half. I had to force the guy, I had to stick it on him. I said, listen, I said, I want boxes now, I want three boxes. He's like, brother, I ain't got any. I said, listen, I'm gonna come over that counter. I said, I'm gonna beat you, yeah? I said, I want three fucking boxes. And I was just worried about my parents, you understand? But this is what I mean, isn't it? It's just like, I didn't know how much of it was true. I'm getting messages from family members. Um, my mum and dad are telling me, get this malaria tablets because it gets rid of coronavirus. One of Europe's largest Sikh communities is working to feed local homeless and unemployed people in a massive food drive which started at the beginning of the pandemic. So now we have entered the Langer Hall, where you can see it's very quiet due to lockdown. These are 
all the langar, so the rotiyan prasad that are cooked. And we pack two in a roll, so two per bag. And this will now go out to the back where there's takeaway, so the takeaway langar for the community. Selfless service is food for the soul. You feed your appetites every day. So how about feeding your souls by helping others and caring for others? I feel I've been blessed with this gift where I'm able to connect spiritually to my Guru and to hear and listen to what Guru tells us. He says everyone is equal, everybody treated the same despite who you are, where you come from. And this is the beauty of Sikh values, equality. We are all one. The pandemic, along with cultural factors and poverty, has created a mental health crisis in an at-risk population, causing drug addiction to skyrocket. <laughs> no shoes, no sleeping. Like sometimes I'm no sleep three, three weeks and I'm walking on the road. I sleep all the time. I'm going to 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 sleep all the time. No home, no house. I'm going to sleep all the time. 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 Yeah, because the population in the world is very high, so the government has thought that if someone starts to start, they will kill people. So, I thought that the government has given it, but they need to save it. These conflicting viewpoints have created a pandemic. Sikhs and 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 this pandemic was the first time I saw that the values of Sikhism give strength to people who had every reason to be really scared, and that really moved me. I've transformed, I've brought in religion, I've brought in spirituality into the work that I do. I still do the crazy stuff, but I try and do it in a good way, I try and help people. <laughs>